Okay, Bezrat Hashem. So we continue where we stopped uh, in Echal HaKodesh from the Rambam El Vaz. Uh, we introduced uh, a concept but, uh, that we didn't, uh, we just touched, uh, which is the concept of seven. If you recall, but we didn't finish last year, we decided we, we were going to continue about that. The Zohar Kadosh, okay, in, uh, in Daf Kuf Pedalit, Kuf Pedalit. Okay, discusses the concept of Shiva. The Zohar asks, how come Akadosh Baruch Hu chooses, brings so much deen on that day? He is, Hashem is all Rahamim. Hashem is all Chesed. His creation is Chesed. His desire to create and to share is Chesed. So how come on a day, on, on that day, there is so much concentration of deen? But Shabbat is not deen. I'm sorry? Shabbat is seven and it's not deen. Oh, one second, one second. Okay. One, second. one second. So he says, so says the, the answer to Zohar Kadosh, that all the Kedusha, all the Beracha, and all the abundance from Akadosh Baruch Hu comes in cycles of seven. Okay? Uh, to answer your question, Right? The day that has all the beracha for the week, all the abundance for the week is Shabbat. Right? Says the Zohar Kadosh, says the Zohar Kadosh, on the seventh month, okay, is the day, it's the, the seventh month is the number seven in the cycle of the month or, or, or in the cycle of the year, right? So at the, the first day of the seventh month, right? Akadosh Baruch Hu comes and, and, and wants, needs, needs to shower all the abundance and the beracha and the potential for the year. Okay. However, however, since, since he's sending so much for so long, and uh, that, that is inclusive of the entire creation, okay, says the Zohar Kadosh that he sends, he sends to the, the, his angels to see Kivyachol, to give a, a, an accounting report. Okay, I'm sending- One second, the they're attacking on the door. One no problem. Okay. So, so Akadosh Baruch does an accounting, right? He needs to send abundance, he needs to send Beracha, and he has all this, to share, which is endless, right? So what he will send depends on the, the ability of the creation to receive what he's sending, right? Yes. And to see a purpose to what he will be sending. So the Zohar say, says that the Kadosh Baruch sends his angels to, uh, to see how much, how much are we sending this year? How much are we of potential that can become reality will we be sending this year? The Malachim come back, and uh, every year they come back with a with a negative report. Humanity did this, this, humanity did that, Am Israel did this, Am Israel did that. Uh, bad news. Bad news. When that report is presented in front of Akadosh Baruch Hu, the Zohar says that the Sitra Acha, the impurity, yeah, the Klipot, become very powerful and take advantage of that accounting to push Kivyachol Akadosh Baruch Hu to a, a judgment that will not be favorable for the world. Okay. And this is, this is the, the reason for all the judgments, all the, 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 all the heaviness of the judgment of Rosh Hashanah. It's not that Kadosh Baruch Hu wants to judge and be so tough. Cost and consequence, action and consequence. It's the consequence of the actions of humanity throughout the year. But Kadosh Baruch Hu is aware that humanity will fail. He is aware of all that, that dynamic. 
So says the Zohar, he gave Am Israel a secret on how to break that din, how to break it. And the answer is the tkiat shofar, the shofar. When we blow the shofar, when we say, you know, we're balbel, yeah? the, 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 the tkiot that we hear when we're sitting is to confuse. The Gemara says it to confuse the Yetzirah, right? What does it mean to confuse? Right? You can confuse the Yetzirah. The Pshat so the right is, to confuse it. Is, the Pshat is the following, is that when you, we blow the shofar, when we blow the shofar, there is, and it's blown properly, Kabuban, and that's why Alpi Alakha, Alpi Alakha, the Baal Tokea is more important than the, the Shaliyah Tzibom. He has to be tzaddik, anav, kadosh, yod eteruah. He has to know the sodot when he blows. What does the hand mean? The 14 fingers with the shofar, what he, the kohod, what he represents, shachpar, all the kavanot, at least as much as he can. And based on that, he blows the shofar. That sound of the shofar, okay, breaks all the, 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 the Shiva Rekiim, it goes all the way up to Kisei HaKavod. But says the Zohar, the Shofar itself does, does not, our Shofar does not have enough Koach to really break the Yetzirah, the Samyach So, but it triggers the Shofar Illa'ah, the Shofar of HaKadosh Baruch So, our shofar awakes the shofar from Akadosh Baruch Hu, and the shofar of Akadosh Baruch Hu is what will come combined with our shofar and break completely the uh, the prosecution of the Yetzerara on that day. And this is Omed Mikisedin the Yoshev al Kiserahami. This is allowing Akadosh Baruch Hu to sit on the Kiserahami, right? So, we have to be careful. The shofar just breaks the din, right? Breaks the, the, the prosecutor, all his arguments. But now, so we're not in the negative anymore, but now we have to build the positive. This is the tefillah of Musaf. The tefillah of Musaf is to rebuild the chasadim of HaKadosh Baruch. Not only that he should, we should not have a prosecutor, <coughs> but we should have an advocate. Good? This, this is the Zohar Kadosh. So we see now, we understand, we understand due to the nature of the concept of seven, okay? And the reason, okay, if uh, seven, uh, there are seven letters that are doubles. Beget kaporet. Beget kaporet, bet gimel dalet, kaf pe resh tav. Okay? Both of them, all these seven letters have dual, sorry, they have dual pronunciation. Bet vel, rimel gimel, the Dalet, we don't know. We don't know. We lost the other Lashon of Dalet, okay? Chav Kaf, Pefe, the Resh also, we lost it, okay? And Tav Tav. And Shin, Shin Sin. It's a good, it's a, it's a, it's a good point, but it's not part of the Beget Kaporet. It's okay. not good, okay? So these seven, these seven letters, the seven letters have two pronunciation, which the Sefer Yetzirah explained to us that it has two facets. There is two facets to it. You have the or and you have the dark side of it. Okay? You, you, so when there is a dagesh, it will mean that a din. When you don't have a dagesh, it's rafuif. That is softer than bet. Sav is softer than tav. Fe, then, ta, then pe, right? Okay. The dagesh awakes, if you want, the 
the intensity of the all this letter represents. Okay, so, and we're not going to go too much into the details, but during Rosh Hashanah and the Kiyot of the Shofar, we do the Tikkun of those seven letters. Okay, so just the, the, the concept of seven, okay, has in it the Beracha, okay, because, because there could be the other, the, the, the opposite. Shabbat, it could be the Mekor Hayim, or the person could be Hayav Mita. Ah. Shmita, Mita, it could be the Mekor of the Beracha for the Parnasa and the Beracha of Am Israel. If the person does not keep Shmita, Galut. The Galut, the Pura Anut, etc. So in the cycle of seven, in the seven, we always find polar opposite rewards because of the potential of the beracha that 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 number has okay so on the seventh month according to the torah which is tishrei yeah, we now we understand that there is tremendous beracha what it triggers and the reason and and the secret that akadosh who gave us which is the shtiat shofar in order to break that the the, the midat good good now, the way, the way that we're going to dive into a little bit of a, we can do it because you understand it from a fundamental of Emunah, okay? We're going to dive into the structure of the day in terms of the presence of Akadosh Baruch Hu and what it means, okay? When Akadosh Baruch Hu asks for the accounting, his or the or and sof, okay? usually comes down and gives life and presence and autonomy to each sefira, to chokhmah, bina, to gather that, chesed, gura, etc. Now, on Rosh Hashanah, he's asking for accounting. So who can, who from the, 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 from, from the sefirot has the ability to do an impartial, very rigorous accounting. Bina. In, in the morning, it's the Mina, the Ima Illa. And we, who the Ima, the, why is the Mohin? But who the Ima is the the the, 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 yes. the aspect of the judge. But who are, will be the, who will be the, uh, the, the, the accountants, okay? that are being sent by, by the Ima, it will be the Gvura, and it will be the Malchut. Both are the most diligent and rigorous Midot to bring accounting to HaKadosh Baruch Hu in an impartial and rigorous way. So, what on Rosh Hashanah basically Akadosh Baruch Hu empties or, or, or disregards, not empties, but disregards his, oh, his focus from all the Sefirot except for Ima, the Bina, which he will say. Bring me the fact. Bring me the fact. He will say it, but in order to get it, he empowers the Bina and asks from the Gevua and the Malchut to, okay, to bring the world to accounting. So if you only have Bina, Gevua, and Malchut that are fueled and empowered, you, find, you fall into a, a, a dynamic of Din that is overwhelming, right? Which is opening the door to all the key pots. Good? Good. The whole Avodah. That's in Arvid? That's the whole Rosh Hashanah. Ah, the whole, okay. The whole, and we're gonna get, we're gonna dive. Okay, okay, okay. To the, the whole Avodah of Rosh Hashanah, okay, is to rebuild, okay, to bring back to the equation 
the chesed and the tiferet. Why? Because right under Bina, you fall into, into the chesed, right? And then the gevura. So we don't want a direct bond between Bina and Gvura. If they are connected without any buffer, very dangerous. Problem. Very buffer. This is the first day. This is why on the first day we have what is called Dina Kashia, the hard judgment. This is Gevura, the tough, tough one. Then after that, we're going to use the Midat Ha'emet. We're going to use the Midat of Yaakov Avinu, the Tif Eret. that will on one end break the connection between the Gevura and the Malchut, but also sandwich the Gevura with the Chesed. Good? Very good. So we have Av Avraham, uh, which is Chesed, that comes and breaks between Bina and it's hack, okay? And tells the Bina, come to me first. And we, we have Yaakov that stops the connections between it's hack and the Malchut, which is David Amelech. Okay? So what we want, if you will, what we want is we want to wrap up all these, these, uh, uh, We, we want to detach the connection between the Gevura and the Malchut, okay? And sandwich them, wrap them up with Chesed and Tiferet. Good? Good. Very good, okay. By- That's why some people do uh, Tanit Dibur also in Rosh Hashanah. Yes, it is a Chashuv Meod. Also Malchut don't. We have to be sensitive to the family, etc. We don't want tiny Dibur to turn into a machloket. It's something. Yeah. But we have to. So, so on Rosh Hashanah, on, on Rosh Hashanah, okay, what we do is that we rebuild the, the, the sphere of the Chesed and the Sphira of the Tif Eret. Okay? Now. That gives us, if you want, an highlight outline and understanding of the Seder Avuda. Okay? When we blow the Teki out, okay, we have Tashrat. Tashat, Tarat, right? Three steps. Tkia, Tashrat, right? One. Then Shvarim, one, two, three. Trua, ta, 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 ta. And then one. Okay. The first one and the last one, okay, are Avraham and Yaakov, the Hesed and the Tiferet. In the middle, you have Itzhak, the Gevura, the, the, the Shvarim, and the Troa is the Malchut, is David. So the first Seder, we sandwich them. First, we start with Abraham, then Itzhak, David, and then Yaakov. Okay? We disconnect them from the Ima'ila. We disconnect them from bringing or awaking through their connection to the Bina, all the cave people. But that's not enough. We also don't want them to be together. So we will repeat a seder where we will separate each one. And we're going to do Tashat. We're going to take Itzhak and we're going to sandwich it with Avraham and with Yaakov. And then we take David, Tarat, and we do the same thing. By weakening their intimacy or their connection, right? And, the, and how do we weaken this? By rebuilding the chesed and by rebuilding the tiferet, we allow now a kadosh 
okay? To have sephirot that he actually can reside on. Now, instead of for Ima to go straight to the Gevura, the Bina now has to go through the Chesed. Chesed, Gevura, Gevura Tif Eret. Good. This is, this is called Kisera Hamim. Good? Good. Okay. Now, before, before uh, we, we dive into the, the details of uh, the tefillah of Musaf and the Tkirot, overall, in, in the Ot Sadiq Aleph, the, the Rambam El Baz explains the following. He says, what did we say? We said that on Rosh Hashanah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu disregards the, his focus from all these sefirot, right? Except for Gevura and Tiferet. We have Aseret Yemet Shuvah, right? On Rosh Hashanah, We're building, what are we trying to do? We're allowing the Malchut to actually get also her or, but her or, berachamim, right? Malchut, which is the, the Melech, judges us, Beyomadim, right? And we ask that it should be done with Rahamim. With Rahamim. We have 10 days, says the Zohar Kadosh, 10 days to rebuild each Sefirah. So on the first day of Rosh Hashanah Malchut, the second day of Rosh Hashanah Yesod, etc., etc. On the tenth day, on the tenth day, which is Yom Kippur, we're in the Midat Akeder, Aketer. You are now with the king. When you're with the king, there's no room not for eating, not for drinking, you don't have time because your time with the king is so limited, so intimate, it's you and him. So you cannot waste any of your time for mundane things. This is why on Yom Kippur, Asur Be'achila, Be'shtiya, Be'niyat Asandal, Be'tashmishamita, Be'siyah. We don't do nothing but focusing on this audience that we have with the king. Now we understand that the inuyim, the inuyim, the, the pain, okay, of the body, Kivyachol of Yom Kippur, it's not, it's a, it's a de facto. It's a pain of the body because the soul is on such a high. It's so important, you know, when you go to a meeting, it's so, the important is you're not going to bring your phone at the meeting. No, no, the phone stays out. The body stays out. This is, okay. And this is a time that is the most adequate to do Teshuvah. Because this is a time where you talk to the king directly. There's no intermediate. So now we understand also why the Chovatayom, right? The obligation of the day of Yom Kippur is what is Teshuvah. Good? Good. Now, we have rebuilt for 10 days every Sefirah until we get to the Keter, to Akadosh Baruch We are with him alone. And on that, that day, we unite the Malchut that we started with, okay? Which is the Malchut, which is, if you want, it's the punching ball of our actions, right? We spoke about this in fundamentals. It's the, the sira that is the most impacted by our actions. So we take the malchut, and we and now it's by the keter, right? And now after yom, yom after yom kippur, we bring that her back down, okay? And we have we have at that point. Sukkot, 
each day is filling up the Sfira back with all the abundance HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to give to us, right? Originally, let's, let's, let's recap. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says the Zohar wanted to shower abundance on the planet, on the world, okay? Globally and individually. But in order to do that, he needs to do accounting. Accounting brings Din. Din brings Rosh Hashanah. Okay? Rosh Hashanah brings rebuilding all the seal. Now that everything is built, now we can take that bracha and start bringing it down. Right? This is why we have the Sheva Pizin. First day, we bring down all that all. Wow. On, 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 on Chesed, Tif Ered, Ken? On the seventh day is what it's Malchut, right? What is my the day where we seal the judgment? Why? Because it, what started and triggered all that cycle of judgment and it's our impact on the Malchut. So it closes everything. So now that we did the tikkun of the we brought back to the malchut light, beracha, abundance. We seal, we seal the, the we we seal the uh, you know the cycle. Ah, if you shall, we have shemini atzeret. Shemini atzeret. What is shemini atzeret? Stay one more day, but stay with me. Kashe alai peridatchem. I cannot let you go. Please stay one more day. After we have imbibed and showered the entire uh, um, spiritual world with the Berachov HaKadosh Baruch HaKadosh Baruch says, that's it. Now one, now one day, it's not about the world, it's about you and me. And in the 10 days, is there like a seder, like in uh, the count of the Omer that we need to do? During the Aseret Yes. There's no there's no count of like you say like the Sfirat Omer, but yes, the Kavanot have to be in the Tfilot that we do in the Slichot that we do. Uh, Anche Maase used to fast, you know, every single day, whatever. But yes, it's and days. It, but it's not like in a Sukkot Cholamoed. It's normal days, or one should uh, restrict from working and no. try to. No, it's not. It's normal days. It's only Chachamim gave us normal days. However, it's part of the build-up, okay, of, your, of, of your, your own Sfirot pipeline. Okay. Good? Wow. It's incredible eh? what uh, Jewish people we have and we don't uh, sometimes value. Yeah. So... But, but, but now it makes a lot of sense. You, now you can see. Yeah, the process, how it works. Exactly. exactly. Yes. We have the big picture. And things make sense. Now we understand why on Rosh Hashanah, why on the first day of Tishrei, what are why the 10 days and not eight. eight. And not eight. And why what the first day versus the second day, the shofar, what shofar does, and why twice we will repeat shofar, one sitting, one standing. Good. Those consequence, everything. Yes, yes. So with this, now we have, now we have, Baruch Hashem, the image. Big picture. Yeah, the big picture. What we need now to understand and to dive in, Be'ezrat Hashem Yidvarach, is the Amida. okay? And we will see, by the way, we say, HaMelech HaKadosh, and a melech a mishpat, right? Yes. Who's the melech? Who are we, who, who are we to, when we say, but that we're talking to HaKadosh Baruch But HaKadosh Baruch in what in which form? In the form of the Bina. In the same, in the formula. So this is, and, and we're going to get into it, and we'll, we'll see, we, we, we will see, uh, we'll okay. dive in at, at, at that time. So, we, what we need to do is understand at least the structure of the tefillah, 
ובכן תן פחדך, תן כבוד, תן פחדך, תן פחדך, תן כבוד וכו'.